The weeks after Nigerian gangs abducted students and school staff, the freed hostages have returned to their homes. Tears, prayers and rejoicing families were seen welcoming their children after initially losing hope to ever see their loved ones again. An next report details the harrowing ordeal of these children. Take a look. Villages run toward a bus carrying the last set of children who were abducted from their school in Nigeria's northwest on March 7th, days before a deadline to pay a 1 billion naira or $767,000 ransom for their release. The army announced it had rescued all 137 hostages, but only 127 were taken back to the village and 10 stayed back in town for further medical treatment. Honestly speaking, we were in such a terrible situation that can only be imagined. Even the food we were given to eat is better imagined and not something a human being should be given to eat. Abductions at Nigerian schools were first carried out by jihadist group Boko Haram, which seized 276 students from a girls' school in Chibok in northern eastern Borno state a decade ago. But since then, criminal gangs without ideological affiliation have adopted the tactic to obtain ransom money. Earlier this week, Information Minister Mohamed Idris said no ransom had been paid. One security source said he saw 14 black bags, which he assumed contained the ransom money, being delivered to an area in Zamfara State where the students were held after their March 7th abduction. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.